Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a highly requested video. What we are going to do today is I have several different pencils over here. I've got the Black Widow pencils and I have my Prismacolor pencils and I have the Derwent Color Soft that I just very recently did a review on and it has been asked by so many different people that I test these different pencils out in different coloring books. I know I've already colored a lot with the Black Widow pencils and I have brought you those videos and they perform wonderfully and I've done a lot of it in the um, world of Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. So we are going to try a couple different um, papers today that are very popular in the coloring community as well as um, another, uh, another coloring book. I have a Hannah Lynn coloring book. We are also going to test out the Derwent Color Soft and see how they perform against the Prismacolors and the Black Widow pencils. My reason for using these uh, three particular pencils is because these are the ones that are most popular on my channel. The Black Widows are very popular right now since the release of the Monarch set, giving us 144 pencils. If you have not seen my video where I swatched out all of those 144 pencils for you, for those of you that have the full set or are waiting for your Monarchs to come in the mail, I will go ahead and link that video up here in the top right hand corner. Always make sure you check the description um, box of my videos because I do leave lots of information down there for all of you. If you enjoy these types of videos and you would like to see more, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't just subscribe but turn on your uh, bell notification because that will make sure that you get notified every single time I post a video and not just a random few videos and also if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this if you click the little thumbs up button down there it will help YouTube note know what types of videos that you like and YouTube will continue to recommend videos like these to you and it also helps my channel out a whole lot and I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into the video and start testing out some of these pencils. I'm excited to do this with all of you. Okay so here are my swatch sheets. I did this one on the Dur Derwent Color Soft. Um, you will find a video on my channel where we swatched all of these out. They are not in any particular order. I basically just put them on here for sake of video in the order that they came in the box. Here is my color swatch where I swatched out all 144 colors in perfect color family order the way that I see them and that video is also on my channel and this will help you swatch all of your colors in case you need that. But I basically took my pencils, matched up the colors, color per color. I also did that with my Prisma colors. I just don't have that swatch out right now because I pretty much know my Prisma colors by heart and what color is going to match up to what other um, set. And they are very good about just matching the lead and matching the uh, barrel of the pencil with the color on the lead. So I didn't have a problem with those, but the other ones really needed to be swatched out and checked. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. And what I have here is, this is just a um, picture that I printed out from one of my Sherry Baldy books. I don't generally color in this Sherry Baldy book because I had ordered it and I just really do not like the paper that Amazon uses in her particular books. So anytime I color a Sherry Baldy image, I will um, make a copy of it in my printer, scan it into my computer, and print it out on paper. And that is what I did here. So this is the Spring Hill paper. I wrote it on the back so that I know exactly what paper it is when we start doing our testing. I printed the same image out on the Nina paper, the 67 pound Nina paper that is also um, very popular in the coloring community and the one that I, one of the ones that I recommend. I did a video on different papers. Both of those papers were included and if you would like I would also um, be glad to 
link a card in the upper right hand corner of this video for that one as well and you could check out that paper testing video but that is on my channel for you I'll also put it in the description okay so I think when we start we are going to go ahead and start with Joanna Basford's World of Flowers and I know a lot of you have already seen me color in this book but you've not seen me color in this book with the um, with the Derwent color soft pencils so what I'm gonna try to do to save the length of this video we are going to pick one of these flowers or I'm going to pick one of these flowers and I am gonna do a petal in each one of the different um, pencils so this way you guys can see them very close up their blendability and how they work in this book right close up to one another so I think we're gonna go ahead and do this flower here okay so I think we are zoomed in where we need to be I don't have much room here on my desk so hopefully this will work if you could only see my desk right now I've got stuff scattered all over the place just so that I could do this uh, video testing out all these different things and I don't have to get out and bump my camera so the first thing of course we need to do is we need to sharpen our pencils and make sure we've got a nice sharp tip this is my pencil sharpener of choice the doll 133 if you have not seen my video on the doll 133 I'll make sure I link that up in the corner and also down in the description it is a wonderful sharpener but if you would like to see how it performs please do watch that video so the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to put a nice sharp lead on my color soft pencils. I think these are the ones that we are going to start with. And I already chose my colors. I think I already told you all that. And we are going to do our flower petals with purples, going into fuchsia, going into a lighter pink. And I chose three colors from each one. And these are the colors that I'm using for my... Um, if you would like to also try this out and test out um, yours and you would like to have exact color matches I have the bright purple the royal purple and the pink lavender okay so I am using my royal purple for my darkest of colors and then I'm using my bright purple for my middle color and then of course my highlight color will be my pink lavender so let's go ahead and get started on this flower and we are just going to do one petal because I have other papers to color on and um, another book. So let's go ahead and see how this one performs and I think I'm just going to start with this petal here. So we are going to come in and do the dark areas. right in here and I always like to come down like this I have colored quite a bit with these pencils over the last couple days and I do have my opinions of them and I'll kind of show you and talk about it and tell you exactly what my findings are of these pencils so now we're coming in with our bright purple and then I'm going to come in with my lightest of colors I'm wondering if maybe I should have gone lighter again we're just I'm not really trying to um, be really artistic on this flower 
I use these kinds of pages for testing pages. You know, the ones that have just flowers all over the place and I figure I'll never really color color them because I like to use them for testing pages and I probably will be ordering myself another Joanna Basford book because these are my favorites and I use them for videos so much. So I will tell you what I noticed about these pencils. As we move forward, but oh, that's the wrong color here let me concentrate on what I'm doing and then I will talk to you all about that after I'm done with this part and then I always like to come in here at the top with where the petal folds down actually I think that should be darker Oops. So let me add a little bit more of this color in here. They do blend together nicely. And they work very nicely in this particular book. But I will tell you that what I've noticed working with these, that once you get to a certain amount of layers, they literally just stop layering. You, I'll show you what I mean when I start working with the other pencils. But this range of pinks seem to work very nicely on this flower petal. But from my experience with using them over the last 24 hours, there are other colors in the set. Some of them work and perform very differently. Like yesterday I was working with yellows and brown tones. And I'll show you later in the video exactly what I mean because I was working on something and it just, it wasn't, it did not have the blendability. It's working very well in this book, but I don't know, like with any pencil, they work different, differently dependent upon the paper that you're using. And because these books the paper is a little bit softer and less toothy. You can't get as many layers down in these books and that may be the paper, but that's just my thoughts on these pencils. And there's one leaf. I'm not gonna get really creative with it or try to make it perfect or anything just because I have other books, like I said, to test these out on. So let's go ahead and move on to our Prismas next. Now I will say from my previous experience, you guys know that I always use Prismas. So let me pull you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so now we're gonna do this leaf here with these pencils and we're gonna see how they perform. So we're going to come in here with our Prisma. Oh, I don't know if, let me see if I'm in the way or not here. Let me turn the book. Okay, I think you guys can see me now. Okay, this is our violet pencil. And we're gonna try to color this one the same exact way I colored the other one. 
This is my Delilah Purple. And see, already I can see the difference in the vibrancy. And again, I'm not trying to be very artistic or turn this into a coloring tutorial. If you guys want to see that and how I actually color a flower, then you can find plenty of those on my channel and I'd be glad to link some of those for you. And then this is my hot pink. And as you can see, the vibrancy already in the prismas is way different. They are just much more vibrant in just this first layer. And they're going down much smoother. I don't know if you could see the difference in the colors, but when I match these colors up on the swatches, they were almost identical. And I feel like the Prisma, even with me pushing harder, even though it is a softer lead, is um, not breaking. Like if you saw earlier, I think it ha it's happened several times with the uh, color soft where I push a little harder and the lead just comes off the pencil but I have noticed between the two in this particular book that the prismas, the blendability of the prismas, the, this book will take much more, like I'm still applying layers. The other one was pretty much already, let me see here. See, I could tell that I am, I can't get I'm pretty much at the end and it's not blending anymore with these. They do have a really good amount of pigment, but they just feel so different than the Prismas. They are a harder pencil. And if you can see this, let me zoom you in. Hopefully it's not blurry, but if you can see this on the Color Soft, It's, it's done blending. I mean, I don't know if y'all were counting how many layers I had down there, but over here where I don't have many layers, it is still blending, but at this point now, it's done. Let's come back in with our lightest color of those and see it's not laying down any more pigment. But if I come in with my Prismacolors, I mean, that one, that is pretty much done. So if I come in with my Prismacolors, even on this paper that is a smoother paper, I'm still able to lay down color. And again, I'm not trying to be fabulously artistic or anything like that or color this flower in the normal way that I would. I'm just trying to show y'all the blendability of these. And if you could see this paper, like I could still keep applying with my Prismacolors. It's still taking the pigment. And if I lay this, um, what is this, the Delilah Purple, over my darkest color, you can still see it. Look at that. Now, let me see here. If I come back with this one, see it is still taking the pigment. 
and then I go over it with the darker one it's taking the pigment onto the paper but as far as blending it it's not blending it anymore like I don't know see I don't know if I come back in here with my darker color and I put it over the lighter color on the Prismacolor side you could see it's changing the colors and the colors are blending together nicely still. So, and I could keep on going with these. And if I come over with my hot pink and I go over my middle color, it's still taking pigment out of the pencil and it's still applying layers. So there's that. I know they're not like perfect coloring or whatever, but I wanted to be able to do it in a coloring book on other paper. And I'm not trying to be extremely artistic or anything in actual color, actually color the flower the way that I normally would. Let's come in now with our, um, yeah, I'm just really testing these for blendability and to see how many layers we can get down. So we are going to use the uh, Black Widows now. And I matched these up purposely with colors only from the Black Widow set. So we are going to come in, we're going to do all of them the same way. We came in with our darkest color first on the others. So we are going to come in with the darkest color again, and we are going to do this one here. Already you could see the difference. This is the Derwent Color Soft. This is the Prismacolor. And you can tell that the Prismacolor is layering and blending much nicer. You could see one color over the other. And over here, you could see many more lines. And we will go back, back with that, and we will try to, um, maybe we could use the white and see if we could burnish these a little bit, and if that will actually help the Derwent Color Soft a little bit more. So let's go ahead and try the Black Widows first. And let's do it exactly like we did before, where we just lay down our darkest color. Now know that these are more of a uh, budget-friendly pencil, although if you do purchase the whole 144 set, you still could spend quite a bit of money. But the convenience of these is that you can get them in sets and only buy what you could afford um, at any particular time and just kind of build your way up. I think a lot of people already have a lot of the previous sets. Okay, so this is the lavender. And now we are coming in with the hot pink. So we're going to add the hot pink in some of the areas where we don't have the other colors. Now we're going to come back in with our darkest of colors. And you could see the, that these are still, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these are all wax-based pencils. And that's why I'm doing this video with these three because these would be the most comparable and I wanted to add one of the more budget-friendly pencils in with these so y'all can see the difference in their performance. So the paper is still picking up the color. on these Black Widows. So you could probably tell that these are not as pigmented as the Prismacolors, but 
they're not going to be just because they are a more budget friendly pencil and Prismacolor are more of an artist grade pencil. But the paper is still picking up the pigment on these. And they are nicely pigmented pencils. And I really love these. They are gonna look lighter unless you want to work with them a lot more, but that also may be the um, color. Where the difference is in the colors when I matched them up. But these are, st these are still laying over and changing the color. If you could see that, they're still laying over and they're still changing the actual color of the darkest shades. So, I don't know, if I, if I looked at these all three together, I would say the Prismacolor are the most vibrant. They were still layering. I would be able to get the most layers out of the Prismacolor. The Derwent Color Soft kind of stopped layering and stopped blending, I feel like, way sooner than they should have, but it is probably most likely the paper. We will find out when we do a little bit more testing. And I always use my Black Widows in this book, and I love the way that they perform. You just have to work with them a little bit differently than you would a Prismacolor, but that is the case with any pencil that you use. If you put a few wax-based pencils, like we are, up against one another, they're all still gonna perform differently, depending upon what paper you're using, because they all are going to be a different type of softness, I guess, whereas the Prismacolor are the most soft. And then, I don't know, I would say that the Black Widow is comparable as far as softness to the Derwent Color Soft. They are a pretty soft pencil, but they are not as soft as the Prismacolors. And they go down very nicely. I really enjoy using the Black Widow pencils. The, the Derwent Color Soft, over my time that I've tested them out, I'm still really not sure about them because I don't care for the fact that they kind of just stop blending when you get to a certain amount of layers and they also stop layering and let me do something and go back here and I'm going to take my white Prismacolor because this is my favorite blending pencil and I'm going to go over each one of these and I'm going to see what happens. So if I come over this See, to me, when I'm looking at this, it just looks like it's laying, layering like a waxy white base on top of it. It's not blending the colors together anymore. It just really looks waxy to me. And now I'm going to come back in here with the white on the Prismacolor. And it does lay that whiter, waxier base on top but it's also blending the colors together. If I go this direction, you could see that it's moving the colors around still. And again, this is a smoother paper, so we are not going to get that much more out of this paper. Let's see what happens if I go this direction on the Color Soft. And I don't know, I just, I really don't like that look. Maybe it's the colors, who knows. Let's try it on top of the uh, Black Widows. And see the Prisma color lays down nicely on the Black Widows. Let's see if it still moves it around. It's still moving it around. Oh wow, look at that. 
So the white on the the Prisma, I will tell you that the Prisma colors and the Black Widows work very nicely together. I have not been able to get my Prisma colors to work nicely with my Derwent Color Soft. The Derwent Color Soft, what I have noticed, and I've tried them out on several different papers. I'm going to do that with you on film, as it, hopefully this video doesn't go too long. I may need to make this a part one and a part two, but if you look at this. You could see that my Prisma color is not working very well with the um, with the Derwent Color Soft, and it just it doesn't look nice to me. I mean, I didn't color these this flower really artistically or even try. I just wanted to get the the colors laid down on the paper to show you how they perform and how they would blend and how they would spread and how many layers I could get down with each one of the pencils. But I really wasn't quote unquote coloring. So, I mean, I'm coloring, but I'm not trying to be artistic with any of these pencils. If you'd like to see videos like that, you can go back in my channel and I'd be glad to link some up in the right hand corner. But this video is just really for testing the different pencils out. So maybe we could do another video or I could do another video if there is a particular pencil that you want me actually to be artistic with while I'm coloring and turn it into somewhat of a tutorial. I could try to do that with the uh, Derwent Color Soft, which is the only one I've not already done that with, but there's plenty of videos on my channel where I show you the Black Widow, and I plan on doing another Black Wid Widow video where it's more of an artistic tutorial to show you all how to color with those, but they are a wonderful pencil. The Derwent Color Soft, I'm still really questioning. Let's move on to our next book. So next I have Victoria Dar Victorian Darlings by uh, Hannah Lynn, and I chose this page. I'm not worried about using it as a test page because this particular book comes with doubles, as do most of her books. And I think we are going to maybe do the flowers, or no, you know what? So that our pencils are right up, a next, right up next to one another, let's go ahead and do this little ruffle she has going on around her waist. And I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this, and we're going to start, we're going to use the same colors and see how they work together, and I'm going to start with my darkest color of my Derwent Color Soft, and I'm just going to come in here and do, on this one I will try to be a little bit more artistic for y'all. And I'll color it the way that I normally would color it. So there's that one. Now we're going to come back over with our lighter colors. And that is our bright purple. Now we're going to come in with our pink lavender. Okay, now let's come back in with our darkest color. I could tell I'm already... I mean, this is on the Amazon paper that most coloring books are done with. But I could already tell with these that I'm running out of... being able to layer or blend them. They are working nicer in this book than they did in the World of Flowers book. Let's see if we can get another layer down here. They're actually performing much better in this book. Now we're coming back in with our lightest color, and I'm out of layers. They are not going to do any more. Maybe I should get my Derwent White and see how that performs. 
So now I'm going to come in with my Derwent white instead of my Prismacolor white. And I'm going to see what happens here. Oh, I don't like that look at all. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully I'm close enough. But I'm pretty much out of layers. It's not going to... It is moving the wax around more so than it did with the Prismacolor. But I'm getting a lot of spots. But, of course, this is the Amazon book with the Amazon paper. Let me see if I can go back over with the darkest of colors again. No, I'm done. It's starting to get splotchy. We're literally out of layers and it doesn't even look good anymore. So there's the Derwent Color Soft. Now, remember, this is Amazon paper, so it is not meant necessarily to take a lot of layers. Let's do our Prisma Color right next to it. Okay, so we're laying down our darkest color on the Prisma Colors. Now we're coming in with the Delilah Purple. Now we are using the hot pink. And you could still see a lot of white. So we're not done with the layers that we're able to apply yet. Let's come back in with our darkest. And to cover some of that white space, you would go in a different direction to kind of fill some of that in. And then this is our Delilah Purple. The Prismacolors are still taking layers on this paper. Now the Hot Pink. Okay, and I still, I could still see the white of this paper, so I can keep going if I wanted to with this one, and it would still take more of the pigment. Now let me come back in with my um, Prismacolor White and see how this looks when I burnish it compared to the one next to it. I don't know, I would say that... I don't know. The, the Prisma color is much more vibrant and the white pencil that belongs with each set did the same thing, but the Prisma color performed much better and actually did what it was supposed to. Whereas I'm completely out of layers and I'm pretty sure I applied the same amount of layers over here and I literally cannot apply any more and it's already, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but let me point, there's a little like line right here where it's, it's just, it's not going to work anymore. It's done. If I came back in here and tried to go over the white with the Prisma color, with my darkest colors, I don't know if you could see that, but it's still laying down. even after I've already applied the white. And of course it's getting waxier, but the colors are still building. And I don't know if y'all could see that, but it is more vibrant. And of course, you know the Prisma colors, they spread. So don't do what I just did and do that with your finger because it just came on down here into the rest part of her dress. Now let's try our next set of pencils, which would be our Black Widows. But look at the difference in the vibrancy. When I matched these two colors up on the um, chart, well, I guess this one does look a little bit brighter, but it was the closest I was going to get. But those are the two pinks. And I guess this one does have more vibrancy, and that's why it looks like that. But it looks way more vibrant when it's laid down on the paper than it does if you're looking at the leads of the pencil. 
let me see all of these pinks compared together. But there's all my pinks compared together. This is the Black Widow. Oh, it's not zooming in. This is the Black Widow. This is the Derwent Color Soft, and this is the Prisma Color. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is the Derwent Color Soft. I zoomed it in a little bit closer, hoping that you all can see the difference. This is the Prisma Color, and now we are going to do the same thing with our Black Widows. And we're just going to come in right next to it, and we're going to do the same thing where I lay down my darkest color. And then my middle color. Oh, I think I shook the camera there. Sorry, guys. And these are lying down very comparable to the Prisma colors. And they are still just so much softer than the um, than the Derwent Color Soft. This is my, yeah, this is my middle color. And I'm just going to come back in here because I want to be able to see the vibrancy. And it looks like it's more comparable to the Prisma colors. And I'm coming back in with my lightest of colors. And it's still taking layers and it's actually going down really nicely. Oh my goodness. I get more and more impressed with these pencils. I really do. I mean, look at them next to the Prisma color. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but I paid a hundred dollars almost, and that was at a price drop for 72 of these Derwent Color Soft. And I am enjoying the Black Widows even more than the Derwent Color Soft because they're just, I don't know, they're not performing for me the way that I want them to perform. And it's like I keep trying to love them and it's just not working. And I wanted to do this video because I wanted you all to be able to see it right on camera. And I wanted to be able to do some more testing. So I figured why not do it on camera because I don't think many people do videos like this. And they're so helpful to the coloring community because we all want to know what pencils we want to buy next, right? But look at this. Look at these Black Widows. They just keep on layering. I am. They are working so well in the Amazon books. And that is hard to do because this paper is really not the greatest. I'm coming over this with my Prismacolor White. And I've told you guys several times that the Prismacolor White works really well with the uh, Black Widow pencils. And I'm still coming in here and going right over the white, and this is literally still taking layers. So this is just really surprising to me. And the pink, look at that light pink still going over. Can you guys tell I'm a little amazed by this? <laughs> I mean, in a normal situation, I would not want to apply more because it is starting to look waxier, but I'm just trying to show you guys for video's sake that even on this Amazon paper, these Black Widows are still taking layers. That's amazing. That really is amazing. Okay, but here are the three different pencils. We've got the Derwent Color Soft on the end. Then we've got our Prisma colors, which performed very nicely. They took a lot more layers than the Derwent Color Soft did on this Amazon paper. And then we have our Black Widows. And the Black Widows performed extremely nicely. Of course, I used the white that goes with the Prisma colors to layer over and burnish these colors together uh, with the Black Widows. 
So, but I mean, they look, if you look at these two next to one another, the Prismacolors next to the Black Widows, the Prismacolor uh, pink that matches up is much more vibrant. I believe that there probably is a brighter pink in the Black Widow set that would be as bright and contrasting as this one with the other purples. But if you look at these next to one another, they really did very well together. So for the sake of the length of the video, and I want to keep um, testing these pencils out, I am going to do it in a separate video, and this video is going to be part one, and the other video is going to be part two because I think that the video has already become extremely long, and I still want to make this a very, very thorough testing, and so I'm going to do the Nina paper and the Spring Hill paper in a separate video. So you will have the two most popular types of coloring books um, in this video and then the papers will be in a separate video for those of you that like to print your coloring pages out on um, or use the PDFs to print your pages out. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to continue seeing more videos like this, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications. Anything, as always, that you've seen in this video will be linked in the description below. If you liked this video, please make sure that you do give it a thumbs up so that YouTube always knows that you like these types of videos and it will continue to recommend these types of videos to you. Now, if you are interested in seeing part two of this video, make sure that you continue to check my channel. After that video has been uploaded, I will link that video in the cards and also in the description of this video. And I will possibly also put them in a playlist so that they are easy to find. But I am gonna continue to use the same colors on the two different papers and we're going to test those out in part two of this video. I hope to see y'all there. Have a wonderful day and happy coloring.